all over it. Come on, dude. Oop, oop. How about the back end? Got him. Nice. Come on. Come on. Oop, oop, oop. Nipped at it. Oop. Got it. Nice. Oop. Yep. Nice. <laughs> that was awesome. It's March 15th and it seems like we finally turned the corner here on spring in South Texas. It's 80 degrees today, it hit almost 80 yesterday and it looks like we've got warm weather from here on out. We've had some really strange weather patterns so far this year but like I said it seems to have stabilized now and we've turned the corner on spring. So these fish should be spawning big time right now but I actually just checked a place down the road and I couldn't find anything really locked on beds. I found some cruising fish, but nothing that really interested me too much. So I came down here to this place that I've been to a couple of times already this year where I've caught some fish spawning. Nothing real big though. Still looking for a big fish out of here. Hopefully today's the day that they're moving on up. It's about 4.30 though, so I've only got a little bit of time here. We did just have the time change this last weekend, so Got a little bit more time than I have had in the past couple weeks, but still just a couple hours before dark here. So I'm going to try to cover some ground here real quick. Find some fish locked on beds. Oh yeah, there's a real obvious cleaned off bed there. Nothing around it though, it don't look like. <laughs> Pretty crazy. Nope, nothing around there. <laughs> right down here is where I caught a good one last week. Had another one with it, I only caught one of them though. Oh yeah, still one of them there too. Don't know if it's the one I caught already though or not. I think it's probably not the one that I've caught already because I think that I end up catching the female. And usually the male is the one that hangs around. I'm gonna see if he'll play here for a second. He did just swim off though underneath that sludge. Oop. Right as I said that, there he is. Back in there again. Eh. He's getting spooked off though. Swimming out right now. Swimming way out. Let me get behind this tree right here. Try to hide myself a little bit. Watch him come back over there. Coming around from that left side again. Yep, right there. That's his M.O. right now for whatever reason. Yep, looking right at my bait. Come on, dude, eat it. <laughs> All over it. Come on. Oop. Come on. Oop, oop. Oh, no! Dang it! Ah. Ah, shucks. Ah. Pulled on him for just a second there. Don't know if the hook even got him though, actually, because he's still sitting right there. I think he just picked up the, the back end. I'm not sure I even got him with the hook because he's still sitting right there. Oh yeah, all over it. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Right in front of your face. Come on, turning on it. <laughs> Crazy, just eyeballing it. 
right next to his face. Come on, dude. Right down on it. Come on. Come on. Oop. Oop. I can't see very good. I can't tell if you picked it up or not. Oop. 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 Got it by the tail. Does he have enough? I think he does. Yep. No! Dang it! Ah! Ay, ay, ay. Rolled him all the way to the surface that time. I don't know why he didn't get hooked. <sighs> right when I said, does he have enough of the bait? I saw him, he took a second gulp and swallowed the whole thing. My hook barely even came out of the plastic. I don't know why. Golly, rolled the fish all the way to the surface that time though. Oh gosh, he's right back in there though. Wow, this is crazy. This dude is so protective right now. He doesn't care. Ah, uh, right as I say that. Now he spooked off when I pitched. Come on. Come on. All over it. Come on, dude. Oop. Oop. Got by the back end. Got him. Nice. Nice. All right. Finally landed that sucker. And it's not the same one I caught before. Cause I remember I hooked the other one right here, right in the corner of the mouth, pretty darn sure. And that one does not have a hook mark. Yeah, and that other one was fatter too, I'm pretty sure. So, all right. Did exactly what I wanted to do. Didn't catch the same fish twice. I caught female earlier and then the male this week. That's pretty cool. Stuck him really good that time too. Golly, calm down, dude. Stuck him all the way through the cheek that time. Would never coming off of there. Like I said, I don't know why that didn't happen the first time. Rolled him all the way to the surface. But that was cool. All right, nice fish. Staying up here for a long time, protecting this bed. Like I said, I saw this fish last week up here with a female, so. They definitely stay up here for a long time to protect that bed. Thank you for playing, Daddy. That was fun. Ooh, this fish sitting right here. Not a big one, but a decent little fish. <laughs> Just looking at me right outside this grass bed. Wonder if his bed is right here up against this edge and I just can't see it because I'm too close. I don't know, he went out there a little bit. I'm gonna back up over here on this side. See if I can see anything from over here. Yep, yeah, moves right up in there when I get out of the way. Probably got a bed down there. I'm gonna try to catch this fish real quick, I guess. See if he's active. Oop, hopping over some grass. Oop, yep, right down on it. Come on. Oop, nipped at it. <laughs> nipped at it, but he missed it and got grass, I think. Yeah, he's out there spitting out the grass now. <laughs> Actually a decent fish. He looks pretty thick through the shoulders. Might surprise me on how big he is here. Come on, dude. He's looking at it again. Kind of turned towards look at me again, though. There he goes. <laughs> and he makes the move up into the bed. There he goes, right there. Come on, come on. Oop, got him. Nice. Nice. <laughs> and I was able to set the hook pretty decently, actually. And, like I said, fish was better than I thought, too. Then when I originally saw him, I started realizing slowly as I was looking at him, he's got some shoulders on him. That's not a bad fish at all. Right in the nose. Right where you want to hook him. Just perfect. 
Beautiful, beautiful little bass right there. Nice, nice buck bass. Protecting this bed up here. Put him right back down in here. Right by his bed. Thank you for playing, buddy. That was really fun. Really made me work for it. All right. Right back down towards his bed. All right, now all last week there was tons of fish up here by this grass. Golly, there's still a bunch of fish up here too, but I was gonna say I'm hoping to see some beds up in here now that they've locked down on, but man, I don't see any obvious beds yet. Just see fish still, yep, chilling up here on the grass, but they're real spooky. Real spooky. As soon as your bait hits the water anywhere around them, they're gone. Oh yeah. I can't hit within 10 feet of them and they're gone. Wow. Well, hopefully I can find some on beds out here past the grass then. Maybe under this bridge. Golly, that's a pretty nice looking bass right there. Hey bro! Yo! Oh yeah, how big is it? Three pounds. Yeah. Nice. I think this is a guy that I've met over here before, a couple of times actually. Yeah, maybe only once. I don't know. Anyway, I think this is a guy I've seen over here before. He just said he caught his PB, so about a three-pound bass. Probably one of the ones that I've been seeing back in that corner over there. That's why I was coming over here to try and see that fish see if those fish have locked down to a bed I guess they did and he just caught it well that was kind of weird the guy said he's gonna come around and show me his fish he never did I'm not sure there where they went to I don't know how they left without me seeing them without going right by me in fact so anyway didn't get to see their fish but uh, it probably would have been my third fish of the day I probably would have been able to catch that fish too I'm guessing it was on a bed over there so I caught two pretty nice ones and then that could have been my third. So fish are moving up more and more. Still not super, super on, I don't think, like it's supposed to be, but more and more every day they should be coming. Tomorrow should be another really good day. Should be better as long as there's not this much wind. The wind today is really what killed a lot of the, a lot of the water it was really hard to see without, with all that ripple in the water. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon here, headed down to this creek where I've seen quite a few bedding fish the last couple seasons, but I haven't quite seen anything here yet this year because the spawn has not been quite what it should be this far along because of our weird weather patterns. But now that we've finally stabilized, should be able to see some fish down here. This is actually just a little pool before the main creek but I have seen some fish in here in the past too so I'm gonna put my sunglasses on here take a look see if I see anything in this little pool then I'll be headed down to the main creek we're almost certain I'll find something today I've had a few days here in the 80s now stable warm weather they should definitely be moving up big time the wind is gonna be a little bit tricky though as you can tell, even in this little pool, we've got quite a bit of ripple from the wind, so I don't know. It's probably going to be select places where you can even see into the water good enough, but I think I should be able to find a couple. When I parked back there, I did see a whole lot of cars in the parking lot, though, so I'm hoping that that's just a bunch of people riding their bikes and walking the trails and stuff here on spring break. Not a bunch of people down here fishing the creek, but... You never know, this is kind of a popular spot. What's that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, I see one right here. Yeah, that's him right there, man. He just stays back and forth right there. Yeah, yeah. He's seen it, but he didn't want to grab it. Huh. Maybe I'll keep an eye on him and see where he goes. Yeah, yes, sir. Cool. Thank you, though. That was pretty cool. 
guy pointed out where a fish was that he saw. And I do see one down here. I actually saw a bed right up against the bank too. I was a little bit distracted actually looking at this trash in the water right here though, right next to it, trying to figure out what that was. I don't know what in the world that is, but there's a bed right there next to it. Yep, and there's the fish. I think I should be able to catch this one. So that guy was over here messing with him and he said he was going back and forth and he was definitely, definitely wanting to hang around his bed. It's going to be a little bit difficult of a pitch though, over this tree limb and everything. Oh gosh, yep, that's what I was afraid of. Tried to get it far enough out there to get it over this limb but not hit that one. There we go. I'm going to leave it just right outside of his bed right there for now. I'm not sure exactly where the fish went. He was circling around out here. Like I said though, oh yeah there he is. He's popped up right outside the bed again. If that guy was messing with him and he stayed around then he's definitely on this bed. He's kind of circling from afar. He's not really getting too close to it right now. Come on fish. Oh, there you go. That's where he didn't like it. Got down here on this right hand corner. He swam right down to it. Oh, come on. Dang it. You know what? I'm actually going to take the time to break these little branches off real quick because it's not going to be good if I get them to bite and then I end up messing it up by getting my line tangled in these little branches. That would really stink. You know what? I'm gonna move that piece of trash out of the way too, even. That piece of trash is messing with him and messing with me. Oh, I think it's, I think it's hung up on a piece of line though. I'm not sure I can pull that out of there. Looks like it's hung up. All right, he's right up against the bank again. Come on, dude. Run down there and eat this thing. Oh yeah, oh yeah, immediately on it. Whipped around all over it. Come on dude, oop, oop. Can't see my bait, but I can see the fish. It's getting all jacked up. Yep, following it up the, up the little ledge there. Come on dude. Right on the edge of his bed, right there. Come on. Come on. That's where he should eat it, right there. Yep, yep, going right to it. Come on, come on, come on. Oop, oop, oop. Oh, he tried to eat it and he got grass. Wow. <laughs> tried to eat my bait and he got a mouthful of grass. That was crazy. Come on, dude. He's trying not to inhale too hard. I think, like I said, because there's eggs down there probably. Come on. Come on. Right up on it again. Come on, dude. Go get it. <laughs> he wants to do it so bad. It's crazy. Come on, get up in there. Yeah, there he goes. Come on, right over to it. Come on. Come on. <laughs> right up behind it. Come on, dude. Come on. Come on. Oop, oop, oop. Nipped at it. Oop. Got it. Nice. <laughs> Calm down there, buddy. Calm down. Nice. 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 Perfect. Right in the front of the nose, right where you want to hook them. God, and that fish fought really hard. I was not trying to play him like that. I was trying to get him around that tree. There we go. Like I said, solid fish, too. Real thick through the shoulders. Real, real nice male bass. This creek system has them like this too. They're just solid, solid fish. None of them are 
none of them are unhealthy. That's a really, really nice male right there. Disturbed the water here a little bit, but once it settles back down, he'll get back up in there by his bed and be protecting that thing again. Thank you for playing, buddy. That was fun. Well, it's 5.15, and with the time change, we actually do have a little bit of time here before dark, so I've got a place that's kind of close. It's not real, real close, but it's kind of close by that I think I can run over to and try to get one before dark here real quick. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We just spooked one off right there. Maybe two, actually. Dang it. I think I saw a pair of fish right there. And actually, I'm going to go back this way right now because I scared them with my shadow going over the top of them. So I don't want to stand on that side where my shadow will cast a shadow on them again. I want to just stay over here and see if they'll ease back up in here. First one that I saw kick off looked pretty good. Oh yeah. Comes, yep, two of them right in here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Rolling all over each other and stuff. Definitely a spawning pair right there. Oh my goodness. Bumping all over each other. This is a hard stage to get them at though, when they're this, this involved with each other. Try to get it underneath this tree. Ooh. Ooh. They went right over to it. Huh. Fish went that direction. I can't tell if it was running after my bait or just running away. Golly, I wish I would have got here a little bit earlier now because these are some big fish too. There's some really nice fish. Oop, one of them looking at it. Golly. Yep, really nice fish. All right. There's both of them right there by my bait. Oh my gosh. Oop, oop. Oh my gosh. Definitely getting mad at my bait. Can't see it too well though. It's in the shadows of that tree right there. Golly, they were really trying to run it off right there though for a second. Oop, I think one of them's right down on it. Oh yeah, I can see my bait. Fish right behind it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. This is crazy. So hard to see over there. You know what? I'm gonna try to get around to this side real quick actually. See if I maybe can see him from this side a little bit better. Just squat down so that my shadow doesn't pass over him. Ah, I don't know though, dang it. Jeez, they're at the exact wrong spot where my shadow's gonna be on him if I stand up over there, dang it. I gotta be right over here. Just hope these fish stay. They're kinda staying, oof. I don't know what that was all about. One of them just moved a whole lot. I don't know if it was running off a perch or what, but one of them just ran outwards real hard. Yep. One of them is right behind it. Come on. I can't tell exactly where the bed is though either is the problem. Such a weird light angle that I can't even see the bed. I think it's a little bit further back. Yeah, I need to get a little further towards that grass. Just saw both fish moving in there. Okay, uh, it's a little bit too far. Okay, right there I think is where I need it. Right on the edge of that grass. Yep, there's one of the fish in there. Oop, right in front of its face. Yeah, kind of backed off a little bit there. Come on, get up in there, fish. Oh, there comes the other one from the backside now. Oh my gosh. Those are both big fish. Oop, oop, oop. Oh my gosh. 
<laughs> thought it was gonna run underneath my bait. I think it might have been about to. And then the other one came and pushed it. Oh my gosh. Came and pushed the other fish, I think, from eating my bait. That was crazy. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I don't see either one of them right now, though. Come on. Get back over there, fish. Gosh, it's so hard, though, when you can't even see these fish until they move. There goes one of them. Just came back into the bed. Oh, yeah, and there's the other one out there. Golly. Those are two pretty big fish. That female's real big. Uh, try to make a little bit bigger movements to get them excited, but just moves my bait a bunch. Didn't get them excited. Golly, that is crazy, crazy, crazy. I'm try to get around to this side real quick and see what I can see over here. Oh yeah, definitely the bed right there. Right by the grass, but I don't know why that fish won't stay in there. Or he will stay in there actually a lot of times, but won't get my bait. I'm trying to slowly walk into the water right here and actually see if he'll stay with me right over the top of him, but I don't know. I have a feeling he's spooked off because I don't see him in there at all right now. Oh, no. There he goes. Okay. He was still sitting there with me sitting right over the top of him. Yeah, there he comes, right up in here. Oh, there comes both of them, actually. Male and the female just came up in here. Wow. Wow. Pretty big fish. All right, well, what I'm gonna try to do right now, <laughs> I'm gonna try to pitch over here from the left. Yeah, cause this fish is sitting right here right now. Sitting right in these weeds. It's right by him. There we go. That was the deal. I needed to be even closer over here by these weeds. I needed to be coming in this way. It's right by this fish. Come on, dude. Turn around and eat it. Yeah, I can't even see the other fish moving around or anything in there. No idea if he's even there. Ooh. Yep. Nice. <laughs> that was awesome. Wow. <laughs> yes, sir. I got him. I got him. That was awesome. I was just letting it sit in there, just shaking it. <laughs> All of a sudden he ran up there and took off with it. Wow. That was awesome. I didn't even see the fish when he ran up there and ate it. That was sweet. Like I said, that's just the male. That's a really solid fish right there. Golly. Look how thick and nice that fish is. The female that's up there with him is an absolute giant. But that's a really nice one there. I will take that for sure. What a sweet way to catch them too. Like I said, right up by that log right there. Couldn't even see him down there when he finally ran up there and ate it, but saw the movement and set the hook on him. Thank you for playing, buddy. That was a lot of fun. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs>
Did he get it? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yep, just bumped him in the tail. Come on. Eat it. Oop. Got him. Yep, there he is right behind it. Oop, oop, oop. Got him. Oh, yep. Oop. Got him. Nice. Right on it. Oop. Come on. Oop. Got him. Oh, yeah. Now he's right on yours. Oop. Got him. Nice. Good thing we lost count. I know. Caught so many we lost count. That's always a good sign. 